So, yeah. so amen and amen. And here's here's the question to this though. This sounds amazing in moment, but where do our feet take the gospel into action? Because this is a direct quote from my buddy. He goes, if I'm drowning and reaching for your hand and all you do is stand there and watch and invite me to your boat without reaching out to me, you let me drown. Right, and he's, he's using that quote as a reference of the church to not just Black America, but to those who are privileged and suffering who are on the outskirts. He's like, what good is the church if all we do is say, hey, our doors are open, but we don't go, hey, let's go get them and bring them in. And that's why he used that drowning metaphor. So like, how do we as the church go, man, not only, can our, not only do our doors have to be open, we have to be the neighbor that goes and gets them, that goes and, and, and that, that are the feet of the gospel. Because I think, I, I think there's, I think there's tons of churches all over the country who are like, no, we're open. We're not racist. We're multicultural. We're open. We're, we're here. But how do they, how do they put that faith into action? Uh, as pastors, uh, the three of you all that are here right now who are actively serving in the church, um, uh, two years. What is a hope? Two years. Gone, oh yeah. Probably. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Didn't finish, but I still got it. <laughs> it counts. It counts. Uh, what are your hopes of change in the church? Not just mm-hmm. yours, or not not just the church globally, but quite literally in the doors that you serve in weekly. How are we not going to let somebody drown? And we're saying, hey, our boat's open. What are we doing? Can I yeah, go? I mean, yes. <laughs> yeah, Dustin. yeah, Deuson. You okay. got it, you got it, you got it. Okay, Frank, Frank some heat, Deuson. Okay. <laughs> well, dude, first, I, I love how you're saying your friend was 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 given that analogy of the boat. And I was like, yeah, that that's pretty much word for word, James 2, right here, talking about it. <laughs> I said it's a different analogy, but it's it's the same truth. He says, yep. uh, yeah, it's... It, He's talking about the the exact same kind of thing. You know, if uh, a brother or sister is without clothing and in need of daily food, and one of you says to them, go in peace, be warmed and be filled, and yet you do not give them what is necessary for their body, what use is that? Even so, faith, if it has no works, is dead being by itself. That's, That's so much of this. That's such a just a way to say the same kind of idea that yeah we can we can say all the right words and i'm doing a soapbox later so i'm not going to say it all right here but it's 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 like the that exact thing we we can say all the right theological points we can uh, talk about uh, uh loving our neighbor as ourselves we can talk and talk and write books and preach sermons and do all this stuff and make pretty instagram posts and do all the things but people are still hurting People are still lost. People are still in need. We have the answer. It's time to take it off of the phone and off of just the pulpit. And whenever we get off the pulpit, go out the front door and go apply it and go help somebody and go put it into work and save our lo- our lost brothers and sisters, the ones who are dying around us. It's time for us to go and help them. So the question to us specifically what am I going to do? What is my church going to do? That's that's it. That That's the whole thing. That's where the rubber meets the road. It's time for us to do just this and not just talk about it, not just think about it, not just have a Pastors After Dark episode, but get together with the leaders of our church and say, this is what we're doing. This is a neighborhood right down the road in need. What can we do to serve them? How can we help them? And not as a way to say, Hey, we did something awesome for you. Now come to us on Sunday. But no, just to be the hands and feet of Jesus, to shine the light of Christ in the darkness, to go to the hurting, go to the lost and do it. And then that's it. That's it. Not not even like, dude, the the whole picture that Jesus is trying to paint, you know, don't give your alms and say your prayers out loud for everyone to hear and all that kind of stuff. Don't take the pictures and post. Look at what we did. Just do it. That's what I'm talking to me. Okay, I'm a pastor at a church. That's what my church. Are you talking to me too? Needs to do. Talking to me too. (laughs) Preach, brother. We need to do. 